If a company has $50 of interest income, $100 of interest expense, 30% tax rate, and half of the interest is cash interest, walk me through the three financial statements. At this point in the video, pause and do the following. Hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, buy my books, links in the description below, and attempt this question yourself before moving on to view the answer. On the income statement, there's $50 interest income, $100 interest expense, net interest income down $50, net income down $35, that flows to the top line of the cash flow statement, add back the payment in kind interest, and there's a $15 increase in cash. On the balance sheet, there's $15 more of cash, $50 more of debt, $35 less of retained earnings. In the next piece of the video, I'll show you how to do this in Microsoft Excel without the mouse and with the keyboard shortcuts so that you can be efficient and effective with these calculations. I've added Microsoft Excel as the fourth item on my taskbar. Because of that, I can open it by pressing Windows key four. I highly recommend adding Microsoft Excel to your taskbar if you've not already done so. When you get to this menu, press enter. Alt W is in Whiskey, V is in Victor, G is in Golf to remove grid lines, Alt six to rename the tab. And I'll just call this interest. Alt W is in Whiskey, F is in Foxtrot, F is in Foxtrot to freeze the first row and column. And I will start with the income statement. F7 to do a spell check. And I will make hard coded values blue. Alt Niner to do so since I've Add the color changer to my quick access toolbar in Microsoft Excel. Alt O is an Oscar, C is in Charlie, A is an alpha to fit columns. To select the entire tab, press control, A is an alpha. Control space bar to select column C is in Charlie, Alt O is an Oscar, C is in Charlie, W is in whiskey. To change the column width, I'll make it a width of one. And then I will have black values as formulas. So as in, as in delta one, you can see that it's equal to cell alpha one. I've locked that in with an absolute reference. And so I've made that black to indicate it is formulaic. I will have the cash flow statement here. Alt Niner to change the color. Control A is an alpha to select the entire tab. Alt O is an Oscar, C is in Charlie, A is an alpha. To fit that, fit those columns, F7 to do a spell check. Control space bar to select column F is in Foxtrot. Alt O is an Oscar, C is in Charlie, W is in Whiskey to change the column width. I'll change that to a width of one. And then I will have criteria here. And for the balance sheet, assets, liabilities. Alt Niner to make those blue. And I will have equity. Control C is in Charlie, Control V is in Victor, T is in Tango to copy and paste formats. Control Alt Plus to zoom in. F7 to do a spell check. The first item is going to be interest income. O is an Oscar, C is in Charlie, A is an alpha. To fit the columns, control alt minus to zoom out slightly. Alt minor to make this blue. 
then I'll have interest expense. F7 to do a spell check. And you can see the spell check does not pick up on everything. So while it's a good tool, it's still nice every once in a while to go in manually and check for accuracy. The next item is net interest income. O o is an Oscar, C is an trolley, A is an alpha to fit columns. There's a provision. I'll just, it's provision for income, tax expense. I will just call it tax expense though, for simplicity. And finally, there's net income. And F7 to do a spell check. <clears throat> On the cash flow statement, net income flows in as the top item. O is an Oscar, C is an Charlie, A is an Alpha to fit that. Troll Alt minus. To zoom out slightly. And there's going to be payment in kind. Interest expense. O is an Oscar, C is an Charlie, A is an Alpha to fit the columns. Control Alt minus to zoom out slightly. And then there's going to be a net change in cash. Alt Niner to make that blue. And then the criteria is going to be cash for assets. And I'll say cash and debt. Debt is for the liability side. All O is an Oscar, C is an Charlie, A is an Alpha to fit rows and columns. Spell check with F7. And finally, there's going to be Retained earnings. Alt Niner to make that blue. Alt O is an Oscar, C is an Charlie, A is an Alpha. To fit that, Control Alt Minus. To zoom out slightly. And F7 to do a spell check. Alt H is an Hotel, B is an Bravo, A is an Alpha to add grid lines. Then you can use F4 to repeat the last task. Alt 8 on my quick access toolbar to change colors. Change the highlighting. F4 to repeat the latest task. So I'm going to go do that. Right. And the next thing to do is to start building out these three financial statements. If you remember from the question, there was $50 of interest income, all H is in hotel, A is in alpha, N is in November. To make that a currency format, Alt Niner to make it blue. Interest expense was $100. H is in hotel, A is in alpha, N is in November to make that a currency format. Alt Niner to make it blue. Net interest income, we can just do an auto sum, and that's $50. The tax expense, if you remember, there was a 30% tax rate. So since there was negative income, the provision for tax will be positive $15. And 
and then we'll do a sum of net interest income and tax expense to get a $35 decrease in net income. Net income then flows to the top line, the cash flow statement. So I can use an X as an X-ray lookup to look that up. It looks like I may have made an error. So let's try this again. H is in hotel, A is in alpha, and is in November. To make that a currency format, again, you add back the non-cash expense, which is payment in kind interest. Alt Niner to make that blue. Auto sum to make that $15 of net change in cash. The net change in cash, there's $15 increase. The liabilities is going to be $50 more of debt. Alt H is in hotel, A is in alpha, N is in November to make that a currency format. Alt Niner to make that blue and then finally I added a row all H's in hotel B is in Bravo A is in alpha and equity which is retained earnings is going to be the difference between the two so I'll use a sum function equity is down 35 US dollars specifically retained earnings and then let's just say I wanted to check I could do a check to see if net income is equal to retained earnings. That turns out to be true. All H is in hotel, B is in Bravo, A is in alpha. And you have that uh, spell check. So just to summarize, there's $50 of interest income $100 of interest expense, net income, net interest income is down $50, net income is down $35 at a 30% tax rate that flows into the top line, the cash flow expense of the cash flow statement, add back $50 of payment in kind uh, interest expense since it's non-cash. There's a net change in cash of positive $15. $15 more of cash, $50 more of debt that got capitalized and equity specifically retained earnings is down $35. So take this knowledge into the marketplace to be a better investor, financial statement user and user of Microsoft Excel. Have a great day. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the notification bell, hit the like button, leave a comment below, and please buy my books. The links to those will be in the description of this video.